Welcome back to TMZ Sports. My name is Evan, along with Michael J. Babcock. What's up, man? You're about to see the best video of the week. It's not even close. This video is going to, uh, you might want to get your tissue box ready is basically what I'm trying to say. It's emotional stuff, courtesy of Greg Olson, the recently retired NFL tight end. We've been talking about his son, TJ. He's eight years old. He was born with a, uh, a heart condition that required him to have three major heart operations before he was three years old. Now he's eight, and recently doctors told the Olson family that his heart was kind of in trouble and that he required a transplant in order to, you know, sa save his life and allow him to, you know, do the things that a typical eight year old w would want to do. And just last week, he was told that they did have a donor and he would be able to have the transplant. Now we know since last week that he has underwent the procedure. Uh, he's doing okay. Remember he made that amazing video where he told his friends and family and supporters like, I'm doing great. It's like an adorable video. But now Greg is showing us the moment that TJ broke the news to his siblings. He's got a brother and a sister. And when he found out that he was going to have the heart operation, that they found a donor heart, he went and he told his brother and his sister, uh, Greg and his wife recorded the moment. And you're about to see like the pure joy and love from the siblings when they find out that their brother is gonna get a heart and, and get, you know, this is unbelievable. Just, just watch. Um, you know how I need a heart transplant? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They've been trying to find one. Today, this morning, they found one. <laughs> In case you're wondering what he said at the end there, after he broke the big news, I'm getting a heart, we're going to have the operation, it's going to happen tomorrow. He also goes, oh, and also I got COVID tested, I'm COVID negative. So everything <laughs> was working out for TJ that day. What a great... What a great moment. You know, this really, this, this brought tears to my eyes. I'm not going to lie to you. Like I saw this and you see the love that that family shares and how happy that they were that TJ was going to get that surgery, was going to get that donor heart. I mean, you have to be a cold, cold person and not feel something from that. Yeah, you, you literally don't have a heart if that doesn't get you choked up. When his sister and his brother stood up to hug him, I mean, even at that young age, for them to realize how important this was and how much they love their their brother i don't know that's one of the best videos i've seen the most heartwarming touching videos that i've ever seen what a special moment and now to know that he got the transplant and everything seems to be going great it's this is this has a happy ending and this yeah. is really an amazing story an eight-year-old shouldn't have to deal with these problems it's not fair but for him to get the heart and hopefully now he can live a long healthy life um it's wonderful yeah. And also shout out to the doctors at the Levine yes. Children's Hospital in North Carolina. They're the ones who have been taking care of TJ and, and supporting the family. And obviously we've, we've talked about this too, how the Olson family have been tremendous supporters of that children's hospital have raised yes. a ton of money for them. And it's, it's interesting that they raised money for the hospital. And now the hospital is, is, is helping them Saving out in a huge son's way. Life. And also the other thing that Greg keeps pointing out in all of his social media posts, and I think this is important too, is they want to thank the family and of the person who uh, donated the heart, right? Because obviously yeah. for somebody to, to get a heart, sad yeah. thing has to happen there. And another tragedy occurred for that right. heart to become available for, for right. eight-year-old TJ. And Greg keeps on saying, look, for this gift, we will be forever grateful. We don't know the identity of the donor, but to this person's family, thank you, thank you, thank you. Today, this morning, we found out. 